Now, Tribes is a new play by Nina Rain, currently playing at London's Royal Court Theatre. It charts the experiences of a deaf man in a hearing family, and in the process explores the nature of communication. In researching her play, Rain interviewed a number of deaf people, including one of our very own culture show directors, Billy Magger, and his wife, Kathy. We sent them along to review the show. What is it like to hear a hand? You have to be deaf to understand. What is it like to be a small child? In a school, in a room void of sound. My name is Billy and I'm deaf. I was born this way. So I never really know what it's like to be hearing. I can hear not like most people. I go to my eyes to live with people and I'm also sensitive to sound vibration. My wife Kathy is deaf too, but she was born hearing. Two years ago, we met playwright Nina Wren and helped with the research through play she was writing about a deaf couple. Tonight, we've come to the Royal Court to watch Tribes with more than a little trepidation about how much of our nerves have made it run sense. We were about to go in and watch the play, and I think we're both feeling a little bit nervous and also very excited about what the play's going to be like. I think there are some very close parallels with what happens to those characters in the play. So yes, it, there's a, a bit of apprehension. Will we recognise certain aspects of what happens to those characters? But I think we'll keep an open mind for now. Be quiet. I think that's them. It's OK, we can carry on. They're deaf. They may be deaf. They're not stupid. Oh, it is possible to be stupid and deaf, you know. I'm to tell the story of men named Psych Billy. A young man who, like me, is the only deaf member of a hearing family. But he's not the only one who struggles to come the cant. Stupid Sylvia, what do you think? Oh, don't bother answering him! The majority is always wrong, right? Ignore him. When Billy meets his deaf girlfriend, Sylvia, he learns to stand and the whole new world opens up to him. Can you say anything you like in sign? You can. You're amazing at it. Billy. I thought it was basically broken English. No, it's got its own grammatical rules. The character told Billy, but it's not me. But I do have to admit, there were a couple of things that didn't really make me think. I do I'm a big time for the relationship. And similarly, to man and Kathy, all the way through when we books in the we were literally holding another hand. It was literally watching after a bit. Well, I'm pleased if you watched it and, and recognised things. That, to me, is a compliment. And I would say, yeah, about three people came up to me and said, you know, that was me, wasn't it? And actually, um, Sylvia began the play when I was writing it as an interpreter. I was playing with the idea of her not going deaf at all, but then I thought, I should, I should um, make the character go deaf because I think that then you could say some really interesting things about what that was like. What's it like, the community? The community? The deaf community. The deaf community. Of course, like any community, it's made up of individuals and some are really annoying. Not, you, you're not good just because you're deaf and, and, you know, I like that idea and I just thought, I don't think hearing people know very much about this world. Act one. Says Billy, excluded from much family now. By Act Two, he's exasperated, and he announces that he won't talk to them again until they learn to stand. What? What did he say? Sorry, it's. Sylvia understands the way I feel because she's told me how she feels, and it's how I feel. A second class citizen. Jacob Catherine is the only departure in the show. I wondered how his experience of growing up in a human family compared to the character of Billy.
When I got depressed at school, you said you'd learn sign if I wanted, but you didn't. You didn't want to, no, because you didn't want to hear it. But no, you adapted. I have so never well. lost my temper. You made promises or learned sign you never did. Because you adapted so well, you were amazing at school. You had a long you, time to do something. You didn't do anything. The rule as a play is a big achievement. You know, it's different to any other play I've said before. And this is going to let you be facing with the portrayal of deafness and the deaf community and the deaf culture and all of those elements work very well in the play. But at the same time, it's a little bit worried about what the hearing audience might have taken from it. I felt. The, the lasting impression was that deaf people have quite li lead quite limited lives. Um, their jobs and their ambitions remain within their deafness. They, it didn't lead to us understanding that there are deaf poets, there are deaf writers, there are deaf politicians, there are deaf people who climb mountains to change the world. In the programme, they did the time which told that any of the tumbling to anybody never go down is purely fiction. But I've got to be honest, there was some things in the play that made me think, well, but having said that, I was talking to a lot of other deep people and the interview, and all of them were saying, I knew exactly how many films I grew up outside, so I kind of, kind of have to appreciate that that is creating somebody that's relative. And the people connected to families, which is a big achievement.